What's going on everyone, it's RGB Tech back here again. So today I'm going to testing out the WinLater emulator on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 S Gen 2 smartphone as I got a lot of comments to test PC games on 7 S Gen 2 or 7 Gen 3 or whatsoever. All right, so this phone which have right now is Xiaomi's Poco X6, running on the latest Android 14 Hyper OS version. Comes with eight gigs DDR4X of RAM, okay, that's fine. Powered by four nimiter Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 S Gen 2 processor. A pretty good, decent mid-range chip. Has two cluster cores with four powerful Cortex-A78 cores clocked up to 2.4 gigahertz. Comes with Adreno 710 GPU. So this one here is the main problem. Everything is fine and the recent driver date. It's a decent GPU, not too powerful. This chip sounds more similar to the old 778G if you remember. But with different Adreno GPU and it does Windows emulation without any issues. Alright, let's jump to the main part. So currently this is the latest version of WinLater Official Version 8, Revision 1. I covered a lot about this version in my recent videos, if you missed, do check out carts or in description. So download and install the package. Now I'll close everything. All right, now let's open WinLater. Allow permission. Go to settings. Set box 64 version to 0.3.1, which is currently stable and preset to compatibility. Now save. Let's add container. Graphic driver is set to turnip for this Adreno GPU. DXVK is set. Everything is set. And remember guys, this is just experimental test video. Now to advanced, set startup selection to aggressive mode. Enable all CPU cores and affinity, that's it. All right, now if we go to system tools, to test Direct 3D, it gets crashed. If I try it again, still no. Now let's try again. Let's try with some of these drivers. Now let's load the game. This is Stray PC based on DirectX 12 and the minimum required is DX11. I'll set affinity to four main performance cores. Oops, here we got a message that no compatible D3D11 GPU found, means this game requires Shader Model 5 DirectX 11 compatible GPU. So the Adreno 710 does not load the things up, still it doesn't have any turnip driver support. Same problem for some GPUs like Adreno 720, 613 and some others. Even if we try to change some settings, setting to custom GPU and limitations. Again, same error. Even with Vulkan D3D, yeah, same it repeats. Let's try to find it on browser. But still no drivers available for Adreno 710 GPU and for some GPUs. Hope it will be fixed soon. Like this GPU is same as the Adreno 642L on the 778G. Runs most of emulators pretty well. Even the GTA 5 running at average 15 frames. It has same number of shader cores and count. Any solution? Well, yes. The only possible way is to set VirGL as graphic driver, which is universal for all GPUs in the world. A wise man once said, a GPU without a turnip driver is like the life of a Mali GPU. <laughs> what? Limited and never reaching its full potential without proper drivers. So configure each setting as shown in the video. I also covered a lot about on Mali GPUs too. Create new environment variable. Set Mesa extension max year to 2003. So the Adreno 710 is now the new Mali of the Snapdragon. Now save the container. I also recommend you try the WinLater Mali version, which is currently the best for all universal or incompatible devices, even if it's a refrigerator or an oven based on Mali GPU. <laughs> now to system tools, test direct 3D. All right, at least it displays FPS on the top with the legendary GT 1030 name. Now let's test out some games. This one here is Driver San Francisco, a bit intensive DirectX 9 title, set to GL 3.1 by default. All right, finally, and there we go, it's loading. And it runs, guys. Affinity is set to four main cores, again, to level up the performance.
Today is a good day. Today the feds are giving me a parade across town. So, we straight? On everything except the price. We agreed on 20. You mumble a little bit, Rufus. 25. All right, that's all for this video, guys. Hope you liked and thanks for watching.